Kinkless Pro post fight at Cage, what is 83 alongside the Tories, Jack Shaw. Uh, another win, another finish uh, in the first round. Must feel good. Always feels good. Uh, yeah. It's always good to win, but to get down in fast time like that is, uh, just makes my life a bit easier. I'm not carrying no injury, so straight back to it now and, uh, and we go again. Yeah. yeah obviously, you know, you're, you're fighting Conor Day tonight. Dangerous fighter, you know, he's got some vicious stand up, likes to use kicks, boxing. Despite that in his last fight as well, uh, Akeja was 82, uh, he really put on a performance and put on a statement. Was it the game plan to get him down straight away? Um, obviously, the game, I know he's a very dangerous striker, so the game plan was to stick to my strengths and get him down. But uh, I didn't want to rush, I wanted to take my time. People haven't seen my boxing, you've seen a little bit of it then, but I've got good hands, believe it or not. So I was confident on the feet that I could frustrate him and lure him in. As I did, you know, I caught him in one jab. Come rushing in, and then once I got the takedown, I just went to work. Then um, again, I know he's doable, so the game plan if I got him down was to just control, take my time, prod away, and I knew eventually the finish would come. Didn't think it'd come in the first, but hey, I can't complain. Yeah, it seemed like you just as soon as you got him down, you continued to wear him down and wear him down, and then you ended up in mount. He gave his back and couldn't get the rear naked choke. I think you ended up in an inverted triangle at one point, and then switched legs and, and ended up with an armbar. Did you know it was over as soon as, as soon as that was in? Uh, I initially. When I, when I rolled to my back, I went for a triangle, but he got his arm in. I'm good at taking the arm. Uh, I knew it was tight, and um, as I continued to roll sort of barely down to my back, I knew it was getting tight, and I knew that was the end. I, when I, was a, I knew it was close to the end of the round, so I didn't know if we was going to run out of time, but didn't yeah. have to worry about that in the end. And, but yeah, I knew it was tight when it came. Yeah. When do you want to get back in there? Uh, okay, you have a London show on June 2nd. Are you looking to get right back in there? Maybe a little bit of time off? Um, I'm actually going away with uh, Jack Marshman from month to training. Jackson Winkle John, yeah. so um, obviously I'm not going to be in the country for that. I know they're coming back to Wales in October, so I've been very busy the first half of this year, so I've had a bit of time to train and improve now. Hopefully get back in October, and I know there's total Irish card at the end of the year. I'd love to get, get on that and fight, because I've never actually travelled abroad to fight, so I know Ireland's not really abroad, but yeah. it's abroad for us Welsh boys, you've got to get <laughs> yeah. on a plane together, so uh, yeah, I'd like to get on that one as well. Yeah, uh, you know, as you mentioned, going to Jackson Winkle with your teammate, Jack Marshman, how, how much are you looking forward to that? Because you obviously train with top guys, but Jackson is another level. It, it's one of the best gyms in the world. Yeah, like you said, it's probably one of the, one of if not the best gym in the world. Yeah. Jack come back and all he's done is rave about it and how good it was. Obviously, I got a bit of time now where I'm not in fight camp, so I can go up there. I can do three classes a day, learn as much technique as I can. You know, people say about going away for four weeks. They say you can't really pick much up, but I don't got to worry about. My cardio is such because I know, you know I'm not going to have to be getting up and running and going to train at the class. So yeah. the fact that I've got four weeks of doing three classes a day, six, seven days a week if I want, is something I think is going to bring me on massively. And, and obviously, like you said, I'm training with top guys at Tulare Combat as well. So if I, if I can make the initiation there and sort of sweat between the twos throughout the years, then it's not only going to bring me to the next level again. Yeah. Is this something you want to make a regular thing? Obviously, Jack's fighting in the UFC, he does every fight camp. Do you want to make this a regular thing going off there? Yeah, it's providing I can afford it, obviously. Uh, Jack's making a bit more money than me, but um, as, obviously, you know, as long as he's going and if I can afford to go, obviously I'll go every time he goes. But obviously I've got a top gym at home as well. Yeah. Which, so you know, if I can't make it out there as a regular, I'm not going to be miss, missing out in the sense I'm not going to train because i got a really good gym in Tulare Combat with Richard Shaw. I've got boxing with Gary Lockett. But, yeah, if I can get up there as often as I can, then happy days, that's, that's great for me. Yeah. Knowing you, I know you like to talk to yourself during Wake Up Week with food programmes, <laughs> Facebook posts. Is there anything in particular you're looking forward to eating? Pizza. Yeah. Lots of it. If I can get a pizza, if I can get a pizza a day and shout out to Enjoy up there. If I can get a pizza a day and next week I'll be happy. I'll be fat and depressed then by Friday, yeah. ready to get back on the diet Monday. Yeah, of course. Yeah, and before we go, anyone you want to give a shout out to? Yeah, obviously I want to thank all my teammates at Tulare Combat, my, my dad and my head coach Richard Shaw. You know, he does everything for me inside and outside the cage. My mother, my sister, obviously everyone that comes to watch. Um, my other coaches, Jack, Gary Block at my boxing, my strength conditioning coach, Greg Carlo. Um, all my fans who come to watch, you know, they like, they're probably one of the loudest about. Yeah. They're um, singing your name before you even... Yeah, you yeah, they, they love it. <laughs> they, they make me feel like a superstar sometimes. Yeah. Um, and obviously all my sponsors, I got um, Top Spec Motors, Tatami Fightway, B&B, Dragon, Dragon Roofing, Robinson Brickwork, Giants Burger Bar, NCC, Flawless Action, <laughs> D3 Property Development, ADJS and Ivor Cook LTD. If I forgot anyone, sorry, but yeah. my adrenaline's pumping at the minute. <laughs> I'm trying my best to remember. Yeah, but too nice to remember.
big, big thanks to all them for making my fight camps, you know, stress-free and, and really helping me. You know, it's not something they got to do, but they help towards the metal cost who makes fighting worth my while and loves me to follow my dreams. So always big support to everyone. Big shout-out. Thanks very much. Yeah, congratulations. Thank you very much. Cheers, John. Thank you.